Hello. This Philip no explaining. Complex analysis. Verify the associative law for multiplication of complex numbers. That is, show that Z1, Z2 in bracket times Z3 is equals to Z1 into Z2, Z3. For all Z1, Z2, and Z3 belongs to C. Solution. Uh, I say or can say it's a proof. Proof. We let ZK to be XK plus IYK for K is equals to one, two, three. Then Z1, Z2, and Z3 will be equal to, I remember we have said that K is, is 1, 2, 3 as it continues, but for this case, since we are just having a Z1, Z2, Z3, it will end there, K is 1, 2, or, or 3. So here, for Z1, Z1, for Z1 will be X1 plus X1 plus uh, I Y1 for Z2 will be X2 plus I Y2 then Z3 will be X3 plus I y3 hope you understand and therefore mm, z1 z2 z3 will be equals to x1 plus i y1 times x2 plus i y2 then the whole of this we multiply by z3 which is x3 plus i y3 are we there and now this will give us remember if we multiply we multiply each this time this we get x1 x2 this time this we get plus x1 i y2 this time this we get plus x2 i y1 then uh, this time this we get i squared which is equal to negative one so we just can just write i squared y1 y2 then the whole of this multiplied by x3 plus iy3. Are we there? We collect like terms here. We collect the like terms, the real part and imaginary part alone. So we have x1, x2 minus y1, y2. This, I have said that i square is equal to negative 1, remember, the square root of negative 1, square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, i squared will be equal to negative 1, that's why I have said this i squared will be, will be uh, is equal to negative 1, that's why I have written negative y1, y2. Are we there? This is the, the real part. Then, plus i x2 y1 plus x1 y2 this is the imaginary part are we there then the whole of this you multiply by 
you multiply by x3 plus i y3 are we there and this gives us x1 x2 x3 minus x3 y1 y2 minus x2 y1 y3 minus x1 y2 y3 plus i x2 x3 y1 plus x1 x3 y2 plus x1 x2 y3 minus y1 y2 y3 remember i have omitted some steps here just because uh, i believe that you you do understand because you will multiply here i have omitted some steps for multiplication but uh, you can for this for uh, for uh, in this uh, for this uh, at this point you just multiply these times this that's why you have get you have gotten x1 x2 x3 are you here? x1 x2 times x3 you get x1 x2 x3 minus y1 y2 times x3 we get x3 y1 y2 then this x3 times this we get this x3 right i'm saying then this x3 times x2 y1 but remember we have i here so i is associated with this or is together with this we get x2 x3 y1 are we there then after completing this or we, if you have done with multiplying x3 with everything here in this larger or the bigger uh, uh, bracket then we multiply i y3 with everything here we start i y3 times x1 x2 are we there we get x1 x2 y3 but it's, a, it's a, an imaginary one are we there x1 x2 y3 are you there then remember it's imaginary you have an i here you have just factorized this are we there you have just factorized i so we multiply each 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 term in this larger bracket bigger bracket with i y three have the this times this we get this we get it mm, this sorry then this times this we get i y one y two y three is, the, is here are we there then this times this we get x two y one y three x2 y1 y3 but remember now you have i here i so it is i squared which is equal to negative one and you get x2 y1 y3 is here are you getting then this times this this times this it is x1 y2 i times i y3 we get x1 y2 y3 x1 y2 y3 then this i squared is equals to negative one and we are done are we there hope you we understand what i'm saying and at that point we are done with this let's move to this and uh, z1 let's move to this one okay, so we are done with this so Let's move to this z1 into z2 z3 and remember our z1 is this z2 is this z3 is this are we there so this will be equal to x1 
plus i y one into x two plus i y two i y two then x three plus i y three are we there So we just do the same thing as we have done here. Just do the same thing. It's just a simple multiplication. Just as can be given a, let's say a plus b. Let's say it's a into a b, right? Like that. So we multiply a and b. Ah, sorry. I'm saying let's say a into b. C. So we start with a into b times c is b c. Then a times b c is a b c. That's what we are doing here. So we just do the same as we have done from uh, for z one, z two times z three. Are we there? So not to repeat. Because it's just simple, you multiply, you start with this, this times this, this times this, then this times this, this times this, and we get, we get, it gives us x1 plus iy1 into x2, x3, minus y2, y3, plus iy, Let's start with x i x two y three plus x three y two. Are we there? This is the same as. Remember here we have we have separated the real and imaginary parts. After multiply, we separate. This is the real part and this imaginary part. Mm hmm. Okay. Are we there? The next step we multiply each this time this this time this this time this this time this then this time this this time this this time this this times this and I believe that it bring us it will bring us to this time this is x1 x2 x3 then this time this is x1 y2 y3 plus this times this is x1 x2 y3 but we have an i then this times this is this times this is x1 x3 y2 but we have an an i uh -huh. plus this times this is i are we there y1 x2 x3 minus this times this is i y1 y2 y3 then this times this is a uh, it's a plus so it's i squared i squared is negative one are we there so when it's a negative one is equals to i squared is equal to negative one. So negative times positive is negative. So we have negative y one x two y three. Then this times this i y one times x three y two i. It's minus y one y two x3 or x3 y1 y2 there's no problem with that so after that we collect the like terms the real and imaginary parts so we have x1 x2 x3 minus x1 y2 y3 are we there then minus y1 x2 y3 minus y1 y2 x3 we are done with this we are done we are done we are done 
So plus i into uh, x1, x2, y3, this one, plus x1, x2, x3, sorry, x3, y2, then plus y1, x2, x3, minus y1, y2, y3. Are we there? And at that point, we are done with this. And now we can compare so that, remember we have, we have been asked to verify the additive law, that law. So we can say, uh, we can compare to prove or to, to, to check if we are correct or if they are equal. So here we have x1, x2, x3, x1, x2, x3. We have this, we have this, are we there? Then x3, y1, y2, have x3, y1, y2, it's here. Negative, remember negative. X2, y1, y3, x2, y1, y3, are we there? Uh -huh. Then you have negative x1, y2, y3, negative x1, y2, y3. Then for imaginary part, we have here, are we done with this? x1, y2, y3, x1, oh yes, it's here. Mm -hmm. You have x2, x3, y1, x2, x2, x3, y1, it's here. Are we there? Then we have x1, x3, y2, x1, x3, y2 is here. Are we there? Then we have x1, x2, y3, positive. x1, x2, y3, positive. Then negative y1, y2, y3, negative y1, 2, 3. And at that point, up that point, we are done, and therefore we can say, therefore, Z1, Z2, Z3 is equals to Z1, Z2, Z3. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye-bye. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure you do subscribe. You can like. And you can also say where uh, you see that uh, you have not understood or you can just suggest a topic that you're finding difficulty in it so that I can create a video. Thank you so much. Or where I can improve, you can also say. Till next time, bye-bye.